For practice at self-check 4.16 count factors, we are told to consider the task of writing a method named count factors that accepts an integer assumed to be positive as its parameter and return a count of its positive factors. We're given an example here that if we have 12, you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So our call our, of our count factors 12 method should return a 6. And we have this method here. So we're now going to look at it and see what's wrong with it. First thing we're going to look at is our method header. This looks correct. It's public static returning an integer and it's called count factors taking a int n as a parameter. Next, we have our for loop here, which is going to set i is equal to 1 as our base. And then we are going to run this as long as i is less than or equal to the number passed in. So we can examine every single number in here. Now, if the modulus of i is equal to 0, that means it is a factor of our parameters number. Like if we have 1, it is a factor of zero or 12. If we have 2, it's also a factor of 12. 3 is a factor of 12. So is 4 and 6 and 12. That means they have no remainder. So if this is equal to 0, we need to increment our count by 1. This is our error right here. We are just returning i. We're not incrementing. So what we should do before our for loop is make a temporary value that will get incremented every single time we have a factor. We will call this int factor. And after we have our int factor, we know we need to increment it every single time this if statement runs. So inside of here, we're going to have factor and we'll do a plus plus. So it increments once. Initially, we're going to have to set this equal to zero also. After our for loop, when we finally break out of it and we have no more numbers to look at, we can then return our factor. So we can write return factor down here, press submit and see that we have passed six out of six tests. So this is the code that'll give us the answer for practice itself check 4.16.